Hello and welcome to this video on photosynthesis. Now this is a process that happens in both plants and also algae as well. And if you break down the word photosynthesis, you've got um, photo part, which means light, and the synthesis part, and synthesis means to make. And that's important for what photosynthesis actually is, because it's a process that needs light and uses light um, to make glucose, which is a sugar. And it occurs, if you remember from the leaf structure, it occurs in something called chloroplasts, which are um, a small organelle within inside a cell. So inside this layer of palisade cells here, which is part of the mesophyll, these cells will be full of chloroplasts, which are often drawn as just little green circles like that. Full of chloroplasts. And inside these chloroplasts, there is a green pigment called chlorophyll. That's why we draw them as green. And that's why um, a lot of foliage looks green a lot of the time, because of this green pigment called chlorophyll. you remember fill is in almost like that's what it's filled with that might help you remember that the chloroplasts are filled with chlorophyll and it's the chlorophyll that absorbs the sunlight and allows photosynthesis to happen so not all plant cells and algal cells will have chloroplasts we said before that um, root cells for example underneath the ground there's no point of them having chloroplasts but where the sunlight is able to reach they are going to be packed full of chloroplasts for photosynthesis to happen. Now in a previous video as well we said that this spongy mesophyll has had loads of gaps in it to allow gases to diffuse in and out for photosynthesis and if we write that the equation for photosynthesis you'll be able to think about what gases will be diffusing in and out. So we've got carbon dioxide added to water which makes glucose and oxygen. That is the word equation for photosynthesis. If we were to write the symbol equation, which you may or may not see, then carbon dioxide is CO2 plus H2O makes glucose C6H12O6 O6, sorry, that should be, plus O2. And then that would need to be balanced. And to balance it, it's quite a nice one to remember because you just put a 6 in front of everything except glucose. And that is the balanced equation for photosynthesis. Now, where did the plant get the um, carbon dioxide and water from? Well, it gets the carbon dioxide from the air. And the leaf, for example, will have small holes in the bottom called stomata, and the carbon dioxide will be able to go through that spongy mesophyll layer to the chloroplast where it's needed. And it gets the water um, from the soil or from its roots. And that will be transported then through the xylem, one of the tissues that we looked at before, to where it's needed in these plant cells for photosynthesis to happen. And the main point of this process then is to make this important sugar substance called glucose. And this I'm going to discuss in depth in the later vi um, video because glucose is used for loads of things in the plant. So this has then got lots of uses in the plant. It's really important. And oxygen, of course, will then be released out of the plant. So out of that stomata, the oxygen will diffuse from a high concentration in the leaf to the lower concentration outside. Now, one thing you might notice about the photosynthesis equation, where you've got carbon dioxide plus water makes glucose plus oxygen, is the fact that the reverse equation of this, if we were to change it away 
to go glucose plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide and water. In reverse, it's respiration. So you've got respiration, if you flip everything around and talk about the opposite of photosynthesis. So some of you might have noticed that it's quite an interesting thing because it will help you remember the equation for it. Photosynthesis is carbon dioxide plus water makes glucose plus oxygen and respiration, which I look at in another video, is glucose plus oxygen making carbon dioxide plus water. Now sometimes on this um, photosynthesis equation you might see the words chlorophyll and sunlight um, just over the arrows there. Sometimes they're in, sometimes they're not. It just shows that they, these things aren't used up in the equation but they are needed for the photosynthesis process to occur. So that's the summary on photosynthesis. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the limitations of photosynthesis. If you found this one useful, then please press the like button and feel free to subscribe.